Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, your go-to place to become a marketing beast. This video is the first in a series on digital analytics. And today I'm going to be giving a brief introduction into what digital analytics is and how and why you should be using it for your own business. Now, as we move into this data-driven world, it's important to understand the challenges that lie ahead of us. We need to know what all this data means and how we can interpret it. Now, it's very easy to get drowned in all the numbers and all the data that you know we get and get given from our website and from the traffic that comes to our website. Like, what does this number mean? How can I interpret that number? You know, I've got more audience, got more traffic, um, but what does this all mean? And, you know, you don't want to be swept downstream by all this information. For example, let's say that you have a, a blog post or a post on Reddit or any other social channel for that matter, and you get a load of traffic to your website. What does that actually mean? How is that information useful to you? And how can you interpret that to ensure your business can get better over time? Now, this is why it's so important to define your KPIs. And a KPI, or a key performance indicator, is a measurable value that demonstrates how effectively a company is achieving key business objectives. A high level KPI, for example, deals with the objectives of the business as a holistic entity. So how is the business achieving its results as a whole? And what are the indicators of success on that level? Whereas a low level KPI would be something which is more to do with, for example, the, the processes within the sales department or the processes in the PR or marketing department or any other smaller regions of the company. So you have to consider both high level and low level KPIs. And if we can define, you know, the sort of important triggers that are defining success within the company, we know exactly what we need to be tracking. And that's why KPIs are so fundamental when it comes to understanding your analytics. So by using web analytics, we can look beyond the traffic itself and determine whether or not it is actually tying back to the bottom line. So if we're getting traffic from a source like Reddit, for example, and it's not converting as determined by our KPI, so for example, maybe it's not get, gaining you the sales that you want, then perhaps you shouldn't be on Reddit at all. Perhaps you shouldn't be driving traffic to your website through that way, because there's no point having traffic to your website if it's not converting um, and not delivering the KPIs that you want it to deliver. Okay, so by doing this, you can start asking yourself the real questions. Instead of saying like, how can I get the most traffic? You can say, is this traffic source really delivering me the results that I want? Should I really be on Facebook? Should I be doing this method instead of this method? And you can start testing, A-B testing, so testing one thing and another thing to see what actually works and whether or not your analytics and your data is driving the results that you really want as a business. So this analytics series will provide you with an in-depth look at the analytics tools available to you and how you can use the information to track KPIs. Now, honestly, I believe that this is one of the fundamental things when it comes to the success and failure of a business. If you can't track and understand the information and the data that's coming to you as a company, you won't be able to improve over time. Now, if you like this video and want more content, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions at all, just leave a comment in the comment section below. See you soon.